When your realtor emails you listings, you are taken to what is called a portal. A portal is simply a site between you and your realtor. It's a consolidation of all searches and all listings, up-to-date information that you can see at any time that you want to return to it. So you could simply bookmark this as one of your favorite sites and then come back to it at any time to see the most live and, and current information on any of the properties that they have sent to you. In this example, my client, Janelle, has her own portal and she can see the searches for Beaver Creek that I have sent to her. Here, she can scroll down and see what the current price is, if it's reduced price, or if it's a new listing here. She can then use the icons at the top to view the photos, or she can click on the picture itself to view the photos. She can map the property by hitting on the map icon here, or by hitting on the address here to map the property. If available, she can use the Google Street View also to navigate and move the map and use Google Street View to drive up and down the street. She can even use the virtual tour link if available and if it had a scheduled an open house there would be an open house icon here also. Next Janelle would need to save these properties if she likes it. She could save it as a favorite, save it as a possibility, or if she doesn't like this, she can just discard it. Either way, she can use the notepad here to leave notes for herself and me as to why she likes this or why she doesn't like it. As she uses these and, and either saves them or rejects it, they are categorized up here in the top right hand corner. Here she can see her favorites, her possibilities, and even go through and look at the ones she's rejected just in case she changes her mind and wants to pull them back out. She can look at more information on any of these properties simply by clicking on the MLS number or by clicking on the More Info tab here. This just opens it up and allows her to see more information on that property that she clicked on. She can go back to the client view or she can use the back button or she can scroll through and look at each property in a uh, single line full view. She can also go up here and use the display option. The display option allows her to change the views whether she wants to go back to that thumbnail view or she wants to go to the single line view or go to a booklet view. She can even change the display and split it with a map on one side and a thumbnail on the right hand side or a map with a single line on the right hand side or just a map only. This map with a thumbnail view is kind of a nice view because it maps the properties on the left and has a little thumbnail view on the right. But any view that she goes to, she can always use the tools above here to mark them or to see more information. And if she changes this view and she leaves it at the thumbnail view, this will be the view that she will see the next time she opens it up. So as long as she likes this view, just always leave it here. And the next time she opens an email up from me, this is the view that she will see. And she can also go through and tag the listings that she likes. And then down here, she can use the print button or email button or mark them as viewed or not. Now, she can also see other searches that I've saved for her. So instead of just that Beaver Creek search, she can look at the search results for her Vandalia search that I saved for her or see her search results for Huber Heights that I've saved for her. And like I said, this is a consolidation of everything that I've ever saved or emailed to her so she can look at the emailed listings that I've sent her over the last couple of months right here. She can see the listings that have unread notes or with all total notes or she can look at my active listings or my office active listings. There's also a help tab here 
So Janelle can always refer back to the help tab. And to watch this video again, she can just click on the customer portal help that opens this view a video back again. And then finally, there is actually another tab here at the top. It's a welcome tab. The welcome tab, once again, consolidates everything. And she can look at her direct emails or reports here. She can look at all the listings that have notes, whether I saved the notes or she saved the notes. Over here, she can look at those three same searches that I've saved for her, or she can do her own searching right here. And finally, she can just return back to that portal view that I originally sent to her. I hope this little video helps, and if you have any questions, please ask your realtor to help you further. Thank you.